So this video is for the HK guy that wants the best LEM experience. There's a lot of questions on the boards usually where it's like, which LEM is best LEM? And it's kind of a hard answer, but not really. Uh, I will tell you, you want the super short version. The P-Series LEM sucks compared to the USP or HK45 series LEM. It just does. But the LEM trigger in the P-Series makes the P-Series better. So I'm going to demonstrate that here really quick and get you all on your way. I will say the easy answer is your preferred HK handgun with the LEM system, not jumping platforms. So if you are a USP guy, stick with USPs, do the super cool hybrid LEM match or just do the LEM. Give that a shot because you're already used to the platform. If you're going to be jumping platforms and changing trigger variants, you're going to run into kind of an issue. If you're like me and you've already fired a whole bunch of LEMs across all different platforms that HK offers, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but if you're a guy that's only done the double action, single action thing, or only the match trigger or both, and now you're saying, hey, this super voodoo LEM setup, what's it about? Stick to your platform. I will tell you that my absolute favorite gun to shoot, light LEM, is the HK45. So I have an HK45C, light LEM, HK45, light LEM, P30L, light LEM, and the P30SK, light LEM, in my inventory now. I have also fired a USP Compact 40 in light LEM, and I got to fire a match hybrid for a magazine. So I don't really want to speak on the match hybrids. But the match hybrids are going to have probably the best because it has the trigger stop and all that other stuff. So if you want super race gun status, hybrid LEM all day. So with just a quick rundown of the LEM system just in case you missed my other video. The way it works is if you do not have a round in the chamber or you fired it and the primer didn't go off, you're going to have a very heavy... 12 to 16 pound double action pull based on what hammer spring you have and it's not going to feel good at all which is why a lot of LEMs don't sell because in the gun stores people have fired it already and they're like wow that's terrible and then they reset it and they're like what's this so what HK devised is when you charge around or rack the pistol it will pre-cock the hammer spring and it allows the hammer and trigger to move very freely. This is about one to two pounds. And if you have a light LEM, there's a lot of times in dry fire where you try to stage the trigger and you'll fire it inadvertently. So what it gives you is a very, very light take up to the brake. You have your standard brake, which is very, it might as well be called a single action brake. You touch it off and you reset. If you're a reset rider, will reset very shortly and you can fire it off again. Same thing with the P-Series. Uh, the overall trigger travel is a lot longer. Also, your reset is a lot further out. However, comma, it's a lot more fluid than these traditional double action, single action setup. So uh, if you have P-Series guns and you're like, I really just wanna try something that might make this better, Give the LEM a shot, but understand if you're a trigger slapper, this is not going to feel better to you. If you ride the reset, if you're a reset rider, uh, both at slow and increased speeds, this will give you a lot of uh, good feedback and will reward you with speed and accuracy. This reset is so short on the HK45 and the USP series that it's really difficult if you're comparing the two and saying which one should I get to advocate getting the P-Series. But if you're a P-Series guy, the light LEM will be a very nice experience. I will tell you, this is by far the best shooting experience with the full-size gun and the light LEM trigger. I will say if you have an HK45C, that's the Voodoo setup. Uh, for a concealed carry piece that's smaller because it just it's super excellent with the P 
series. Uh, I will say the P30L, both with how it's made with the recoil system and the grip size, this is gonna be your best P-series shooting experience. But if the LEM deletes your lever and your decocker, makes everything a lot simpler, and the reset is just a touch better. So if you have a P-series already, uh, give the LEM a try. But if you're shopping around for the best LEM experience, definitely go HK45 USP series. That's gonna be the best experience for you. I hope this video cleared things up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try to do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, take care, take care of each other, stay safe, and support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America.